I love the, this wall here is slowly growing on. My wisteria from the cottage is coming along the wall. That was grown from a seed, that Catania aster. And then you come along here and all this valerian, which loves it here. But I'm particularly pleased with how this view is looking. The purple Judas tree, and then the everlasting sweet pea. And then you come around to this side, and you have this wonderful pink climbing rose with a floof of asters. Just works very well. And then we have stray evening primrose and a fl second flush of daisies. I should really trim out all the dead stuff in there just to make it look even better. So this is because this is the um, parking area. I can't wait as the years go by, the wisteria is going to go all the way along there. It's going to look fabulous. But I'm particularly pleased with the this time of year is that that pink rose and the aster looks lovely with the sweet pea on the other side. It just looks lovely entranceway into the hen run. And then if I go around this side, there's mallow, there's um, yarrow, more evening primrose. This is the fennel, more daisies all the way along. So I think it helps. It also shelters the chickens, makes them have a a nicer place because the the clematis, which is the main climber in there, uh, is there's a part that makes a roof. So they have a shelter. If we go in here, you can see I made it so that it climbs over some wire and then it hangs down. You've got a great hen run, don't you, guys? Sadly, I can't have them out because of foxes. I used to have them free range and I started going through too many chickens because the foxes would come in broad daylight. <coughs> and kill them. Anyway, the sweet peas. And see, then in early spring, you have this peony and the um, clematis, not clematis. Ah, what is that stuff called? Um, columbine. See, loads of columbine leaves. So, and what's really lovely is Mostly it's white valerian, but there's this pink valerian, which picks off the pink Judas tree, the pink of the, um, the pink of the everlasting sweet pea, and the pale purple of the aster and the rose. I'm very pleased with how this is turning out. Yes, and I'm pleased with how you are turning out too. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, everybody's jealous. And these, this has grown on particularly well. I love the combination here. This, I gather, is called Annabelle, this um, uh, hydrangea. Golly, I can't think. Look at that. It's beautiful, the contrast of the of the col two colors. Here's a, um, this is the fox and cubs. They close their, they close their petals in, um, at night. This is early morning at the moment. This is why my brain, my brain has not had its cup of tea or coffee. This is why I can't think what anything's called and I should. But no, it's all, as the garden matures that I've planted, it's looking better and better. More and more visual enjoyment. 
There's going to be a cat moment. He's taking a wide berth so he doesn't have to deal with being pounced on. Time saying, oh, I've got a scratch. I can't play. I don't want to play. Well, anyway, that's this morning's walk and cat romp. And here's some more aster. I want to plant more along this wall. It would look lovely. <laughs>